more London, Reuters, world stocks climbed toward their best week in six on Friday, as a near three-year high in emerging market shares and a roaring rally in metals bolstered the year's global bull run. Moves were mainly small ahead of speeches later by Federal Reserve and European Central Bank heads Janet Yellen and Mario Draghi at one of the highlights of central banking calendar, the Jackson Hole Wyoming, Symposium, but there was some traction. European shares overcame an early wobble after reassuring business confidence data from Germany, and as the week's 3 and 7 percent rises in metals, copper and nickel, met slash L, gave the region's miners, dot SXPP, a 4 percent weekly gain. London's FTSE, dot FTSE, which has a heavyweight mining contingent led the way with a 0.4% rise on the day and 1.5% for the week. It was also being boosted by the fourth straight weekly drop in the Brexit bruised pound, GBP equals, which helps internationally earned profits. Fast charging emerging markets helped Asia secure a 1.6% weekly rise, while Wall Street looked set to open higher despite a rumbling row for Donald Trump as the United States approaches its self-imposed government debt limit. N, our current assessment of the overall risk and reward picture keeps us overweight global equities in our tactical asset allocation, UBS Wealth Management Chief Investment Officer, Mark Hafley, said in a monthly note. Earnings and economic growth are strong enough and central bank policy is still sufficiently loose to suggest that, in the absence of a shock, markets are likely to trend higher over the next six months. For a graphic on world stocks sectors in 2017 click http colon slash slash right dot rs slash 2 gc 7 earth with focus increasingly turning to Yellen and Draghi's speeches, scheduled for 1400 and 1900 GMT respectively currency and bond market traders began to square up their positions. The dollar added marginally to its best week against the Japanese yen, JPY equals, in 7 as it hovered at 109.66 yen. But it couldn't keep the high-flying euro, your equals, at bay after the German data. The eurozone currency has had another strong week. It is back about $1.18 and is at its highest against the pound in eight years barring sterling's flash crash last October. Eurst Pequals farce ceiling merging markets have been a strong driver of the global stocks rise this year. MSCI's 24-country M index hit a near three-year high on Friday. Asia Pacific shares less than my app Joe 0000% ended the week 1.6% higher having shrugged off the overnight dip on Wall Street as a rift between Trump and Congress over the country's debt level rumbled on. In a post on Twitter, Trump said Congress could have avoided a legislative mess if it had heeded his advice on raising the amount of money the government can borrow. Since 1960, Congress has acted 78 separate times to permanently raise, temporarily extend, or revise the definition of the debt limit. 49 times under Republican presidents and 29 times under Democrat ones. But the Trump factor is making markets jittery. His latest tweet came after he said on Tuesday that he would be willing to risk a government shutdown to secure funding for a wall along the U.S. Mexico border. The standoff has also been one of the reasons why U.S. bond yields have nudged up for a second week running. Fed head Yellen is not expected to give any bold signals on raising U.S. interest rates later but she could bolster the view that they will at least continue to go higher. There is just as much focus on Draghi, though he too is expected to avoid inflaming the debate on when the ECB scales down its 60 billion euro a month stimulus program. Portugal's 10-year bond yield rose to its highest level in almost a month on Friday and was set for its biggest weekly jump since January, as renewed focus on the ECB's plans weakened sentiment toward slower-rated eurozone debt markets. GVD slasher in commodities, oil prices rose on expectations that one of the strongest U.S. hurricanes in more than a decade could hit U.S. and Gulf of Mexico production. Hurricane Harvey as it has been named is packing winds of up to 125 miles per hour, 200 kilometers per hour, and is forecast to drive a 12 feet, 3.7 meter, surge in sea levels and dump up to 35 inches, 
.97 cm, of rain over parts of Texas. U.S. Crude futures, CLC 1, rose 0.7% to $47.75 a barrel, and global benchmark Brent, Lecoq 1, advanced 0.7% to $52.43. They had fallen as much as 2% on Thursday as refiners in the path of Harvey shuttered production. O slash R industrial metals were heading for a dazzling week. Copper remained near a three-year high hit on Thursday on signs of stronger demand in top consumer China while inventories in London warehouses fell. Nickel, CMNI3, which is used in stainless steel was up more than 6% for the week and benchmark Chinese iron ore futures. Just one, we're up for an eighth straight week. Gold, gold equals, meanwhile was up slightly at $1,287.07 an ounce, heading for a 0.2 purse.